Hey, today we're finally making sweet potato casserole. And we're putting toasted marshmallows on them. What is up my keto friends? And you know who you are. My name is Byron Dice. And I'm Susan Dice. Welcome back to another video on our channel. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to live a simple keto lifestyle and also other keto related topics, do me a favor, click that red subscribe button right below our video right now. Move a little bit over, click that bell bing, and the word all so you don't miss any notifications when we upload great keto content on this channel. Ooh. Is she mocking me? Usually you go keto <clears throat> content. Yeah, I usually did Got that. Me. I flipped the script. She was mocking me. I wasn't looking at her, but I felt <laughs> the burn beside me. Hey guys, welcome back to another Thanksgiving series. Today we finally, oh, actually the day everybody's been waiting for, sweet potato casserole. Mm -hmm. Everybody's like, what are they making this from? Mm -hmm. Is it butternut squash? Is it uh, candied yams? Is it is it rutabagas? Rutabagas. Yeah. Is it cauliflower? No. Believe it or not, our secret ingredient we're using today is uh, <clears throat> that was a horrible drum roll. Pumpkin. Pumpkin, <laughs> Pumpkin <laughs> spice latte. You can only get it at Starbucks this season. Ew, don't I'm just kidding. Starbucks. Pumpkin. Susan decide. I don't know where she got this idea from. But it kind of made sense because pumpkin has that color mm -hmm. that kind of matches what the sweet potato casserole looks like after you beat the crap out of it with beaters. Yeah, Byron always loves with a sweet potato casserole having to use the beaters and get the strings. Oh, it's the worst. I'm like, well, who's had to do that? Show of hands, who's had to do that? Well, I'm doing other in stuff in the okay. kitchen. Well, I'm doing other stuff. Byron, here, do this, get the oh, strings. Oh, please. Yeah. I'm so glad we don't, wait a minute. What if pumpkin has that too? Maybe. That's I've never gonna... made, uh, the only thing I've made with pumpkin, and this is years ago, I a made. Pie. No, gross. No, I made pumpkin soup, which sounds really weird. Oh, what? But dude, the kids loved it. They Wait, have I think I remember me. that. Yes, because I put bacon on top, which is sounds weird because usually you think of pumpkin, you think pumpkin pie, which is sweet, but. Yeah. Yeah. We, Did you put a little basil on the top too? No, no basil. No. But I anyway, think I buried mine in the backyard. The kids loved it. They've been begging me for it ever since. And I'm like, I ain't finna go buy no pumpkin and make no soup. No. Anyway, I need to do that. Right. Mm -hmm. So today is pumpkin. We're not sure how it's going to taste. We hope it's going to taste like a sweet potato casserole. That's why it's sweet faux potato. Yeah. Get it? Faux. It's fake. And we're going to use real pumpkin because I always use real um, sweet potatoes, mm -hmm. except for the past couple of years, I kind of like, you know what? I'm just going to do the canned. So I'm going to use real pumpkin. You this. always do the canned. You mean the canned sweet potatoes? Yeah. Oh. I started using the canned oh, sweet potatoes. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. I always use real sweet potatoes. Right. And you wanted to try to make this as authentic as Susan's original recipe as you could. To see how but, it goes. Okay, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. I'm kind of excited about... Um, seeing this because you didn't make sweet oh wait you did you make sweet potato last year yes casserole you did mm -hmm. but it but wasn't I used potato sweetener i i didn't use i used sweet potatoes but i used like the you know erythritol oh gotcha but the reason we wanted to stay away from that is because outrageous carbs it's high in carbs mm -hmm. and that's what we're trying to stay away from on keto and even the butternut squash actually has because that would probably be a good alternative to sweet potatoes and probably would taste really amazing maybe less carbs it, less carbs than potatoes but more carbs than pumpkin pumpkins yeah. probably got the less carbs so i'm excited we'll see all right. Let's well, let's bacon. crack that pumpkin. Okay, and for today's recipe, we're going to be using a pumpkin. One half cup of erythritol, one fourth of a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of vanilla, a couple of drops of stevia, and a block of butter.
Okay guys, that's this. You just saw an overhead of this. We just pulled this out of the oven. So it is piping hot. Next, and you see the color. You saw the color before. This is what, Susan? That's canned pumpkin. Okay. Wait, let me get my head. So good. Okay, there you go. Okay, so that's canned pumpkin. We wanted to show you this because the canned pumpkin, I don't know. Can we show this side by side? Can you pick yeah. that up and let's... I don't know how... The color difference. They so if you do wanted this it to... in the can, but that looks like sweet potatoes. The it color. Does, absolutely. The color. It, so if you wanted to use, I mean, I think probably the taste would be the same. If you wanted it to look more like sweet potatoes, probably this would be your better bet. Right. But so I just I didn't know, look, I didn't know the consistency of the canned potato opposed to the consistency of, of a the real, real pumpkin. Live so pumpkin. I was kind of concerned that potato. this would be, I mean, pumpkin, sorry. <laughs> um, I, I, I didn't, I thought this might be juicy, so I was kind of nervous, but it's not juicy. I think I would use this going forward. I probably would not use the actual a, a live pumpkin, but live you know, pumpkin. Um, we haven't tasted it, so it may taste good. Okay, but first, let's, oh. we gotta we gotta test the marshmallows. Right, because the next the next process in this uh, evolution is the marshmallows, which we made uh, a video ago, and we have to put them on top and then toast them. Yes. So they're nice and toasty brown. Let's Be do right that. back. All right, guys, uh, it's marshmallow time. Stay puff, marshmallow guy. Um, we tried using a toaster oven, just like we've done in the past, you know, over top. We were just testing to see how the marshmallow was going to react before we actually put it on the uh, potato casserole. Uh, as you can see here, it's a remnant of its former glory. And so what I did was I dusted one of them with, with coconut flour just to see if it would like brown. Because, right, look, because that's all look, you're trying to do you. is just get it brown, right? My brother. Yeah, those kind of went liquid, uh, liquid, liquidated. They, they turned into liquid. Yeah. Yeah. And so, and we let the pan cool so it's not cold. I mean, so it's not hot. Um, my brothers, if it doesn't look like it's supposed to, they're going to be like, why aren't those toasted? What's wrong with, why aren't you know, you know how they are. Yeah. Like because that one year you made, what was it? The potatoes? No, my brother always makes banana pudding. Oh, yeah. Always, always, always <laughs> makes banana pudding. Yeah. And he cooks it. But it's authentic. R right, because right, he cooks it. Well, I got a recipe from this chick at our work for a banana pudding, and I made it because for some reason he wasn't going to make it this year. So I was like, well, I'll make banana pudding. And it was like out of boxes and well it was stuff. a jello jello pack right right it was good it was good i liked it and you know what they said what is this no they were like uh this is golden corral banana pudding <laughs> this tastes like something you would eat at golden corral golden corral needless to say i've never made banana pudding again and you probably never will no but we will make potatoes and uh, so i have an idea okay we're gonna see how it works and we'll be right back You see that beauty? I did it! Okay, this was uh, this was an idea. See how toasty that is? It looks. And the marshmallows so melted. Now, whew, my wife is a somewhat of a mad scientist genius. You know how mad scientists are, are genius. She is that because. And let me tell you this this is this is all experimental after we did the test with the marshmallows and they turned to liquid we were like how are we how are we going to put them on the casserole because when we try to toast it in the toaster oven it's just going to turn to liquid so susan was like so i, I why dusted don't we, one with coconut flour why first. don't we that didn't work i'm almost out of gas why don't we use this because she's seen it where you light a souffle or what's that other stuff that you, any kind of meringue? Like a baked Alaska. Okay. I didn't want to use that, but that's all we could find at the. I loved it. Walmart. Okay. Of course. It was. At uh, the local Walmart. They didn't have the small one. So. so anyway, she was like, what if we use meringue? Because that stuff, when they use the torch on that stuff, it toasted very well. So what does she do? She whips up some meringue. She dips the uh, marshmallows in the meringue or coats it lightly on the top. That way we can get it toasted 
uh, without it turning to liquid and you know what when it toasted it it all it always it all oh, help me I'm too excited <laughs> it melted the marshmallow perfectly like it was in the toaster oven so ah! yeah hats off thank you to um, Sue's my when I was making the meringue Byron was like what's in that I was, like, I was like, yeah, I, eggs. I've like, heard of a meringue before, and it sounds fancy, like it's from France. And she was like, egg whites. I was like, what? Yeah. It can't be that simple. And I just put a little tiny bit of sweetener in it, just so the, I don't know, I just felt like it should be a little bit sweet since the marshmallow Ooh, is sweet. So. Man, that was uh, that was some experimentation right there, folks. Yeah, so my brothers will never know. Don't tell them. Oh no. They won't oh know. yeah, don't, they don't don't share this video they with them. Don't watch them. Okay, so wait, I need oh, a fork. I guess you need a spoon. You keep stuff. forgetting me I'm lately. I'm sorry. I don't understand it. Okay. I don't understand it. All right, so let's okay. go with this. So we got to go it, with it a piece. It literally looks like regular marshmallow. Marshmallow. Because look, that's exactly what the marshmallow looks like. I'm gonna get a little piece of this toasted here, okay. and I've got some of the potato in it. Oh, you ready? You ready? Let's try oh, mine's it. Mine's bigger than yours. Wait. Shh, be quiet. Let's go. Ready? That's stupid. Oh my gosh, I'm so I just spit. happy. That's ridiculous. What is what is happening oh here? My Okay, I need to darken it. I need to darken mm. it. Why does that taste like a sweet potato? Oh my gosh, I'm so happy Is it potato right or potato? I've heard about the way. Wait a minute. Are, are you telling me just because you sweetened this, it made it taste like sweet potato casserole? Well, I mean, I'm sure it So you could sweeten taste... anything? It does. But it tastes so good. It tastes just like the casserole you've made for years with sweet potatoes. Oh my god. Mm. And dude, all of this is so experimental because I've never done what anything like this. What the heck? I don't get it. I'm so happy. Dude, and the marshmallow. Okay, so, hey look. Oh. There's a there's some work involved, people. Look, nope, when I had an idea. I don't know if this will work because I haven't tried it yet. I did make a mm. like a third of a batch of marshmallows the other day. Oh yeah. And it did not turn out right. Uh, but I made it with the instead of the vanilla. I think there's something might be wrong with my vanilla because I have a big gigantic bottle and I've had it for a long time. So maybe it tastes like real alcoholy. So I tried the um, cake batter. Cake Woo. batter. Wow. I tried the cake batter flavoring and it tasted really, really good. So I'm thinking I might try to whip up some meringue and put it in the marshmallow to see if maybe that'll make it. I don't know. I'll try it. Oh, and I'll let okay. You guys I see know. what you mean. So instead of coating it with meringue, you make meringue in the marshmallow so it has meringue already inside it, which will give it the property to not melt to liquid but will toast i don't know under the heating we'll try it of the toaster oven burner we'll try it and we'll update and let you know Woo. i'm really excited about that i don't that's, i don't know what to say about that that's absolutely amazing that's amazing my keto my friends will never know. here's the thing that uh, i will say this like i was saying before that, uh, there's a lot of work in involved in this because we had to we had to, you know, of course the pumpkin, we were like, is that gonna taste right? We didn't know, it was just kind of un unknown. Um, the marshmallow, we were like, we made the marshmallow, it tasted right, but then of course it went liquefied. Yeah. And then we had to do the whole thing. You know what? So you know what, but hey, that's how you lose weight on keto, all this work you have to do. Huh? Cause yeah. I'm sweating up like a barn. What? I don't know what that means, but it's um, funny. Anything worth having is worth a little Saving. bit of labor. Oh. Yeah. A little so. bit of labor. Well, hey guys, <laughs> go get you a Coleman torch and toast some marshmallows uh, with a meringue on top. That's all I got to say. Don't try this at home. But hey, you know what? Maybe we'll do an updated marshmallow if it works out. Yeah. Just to share with the folks at home. If the meringue works and it doesn't turn to liquid, but does actually toast in a toaster oven. If not, you can always get the torch because it's a fun tool mm -hmm. to use for yeah. men. <laughs> uh, you for should, women too. We should, we should have uh, recorded that because it was pretty hilarious. Me sitting there going. Because <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, she's holding the thing up and I'm like. <laughs> because every time he would hold it down, it would. It would go, go out. out and I have to. <laughs> And then she's and like, so like, turn it off, you're gonna blow up the house. 
Nope. Um, I was yeah. having to tilt it and I was scared he was going to burn me. Yeah, but we made it and uh, she, she was like, get closer, get closer. And I was like, I don't want to burn the potatoes. Anyway. I did not sound like that. She really You're did. Have That's why we should have recorded it next time we will, yeah. maybe. <laughs> Well, guys, that's the video for the sweet potato casserole. I hope somebody out there left comments to guess what the secret ingredient was, and it is pumpkin, my friends. Mm -hmm. Pumpkin will be a staple for keto potato casserole for and we years have to come. One more recipe to go in our in our Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving series. series. We have one more, which is going to kind of end it all because we've done uh, dressing, cornbread. And sweet, actually, the two meals is actually uh, dressing and potato casserole. Right, the two really. like. Yeah, the the main food. meals, and now yeah. we're gonna now we're gonna uh, feature a dessert Which that you can bring to the Thanksgiving table. Pecan pie. Oh, that was a secret. I made it. No, it's not. I made it last year, but I did not use um, powdered erythritol. I used regular granular erythritol. Oh, so it was a little. And we've learned. Sandy. Yeah, we've learned this year. It's that's very crunchy. But, however, I took it to a Thanksgiving thing, and one of the little dudes there said, "Little kids." Yeah. Well, he's like 13, 12 or whatever. That's a kid. Yeah. He said that that was the best pumpkin pie he's ever had. So yeah. I was like... The best ever. Mm, yes. Yeah, so so that's it. coming up, uh, our next Thanksgiving series, which will end it. And then we'll move into the Christmas series, which uh, we're going to have all kind of sweets and goodies for you there as well. Mm -hmm. And my wife might get me a gift on camera. Who knows? Yeah. But that's... Uh, Probably not. Yeah, that's... I, what? That, that can happen. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave comments below if you guess what our secret ingredient was. If you're going to make this at home, if you have any other questions about uh, the crazy mad scientist that we had to work on here, leave us comments below and we'll get back with you. Also, don't forget to follow us on social media. We got Twitter, we got Instagram, and we've got Facebook. And remember, until next time, keep it blowtorch. That has nothing to do with keto. Everything to do with it. If it's keto, it's fire. Ooh, burning fat. Blue it's torch. fire. Okay, I'll give you that one. Okay.